You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. Great show today about retirement. And I have a good poem for you about retirement. And remember the subscribe button for CNA TV, cause CNAs matter. Friends, have you thought of the expression, the gentleness of age, the trials and tribulations of life bring each of us our share of bitter disappointment Yet, they also leave behind a greater sense of understanding, tolerance, and sympathy for others. Something we never felt to the same extent when we were younger. That's the gentleness of age. Congressman Claude Pepper of Florida was still actively championing the rights of the elderly and the poor at age 88. Hmm. One of the things that impresses most of us as we grow older is how many nice people there are in this world even people we used to find annoying or downright irritating don't seem to bother us so much. We discover that many of the ones we didn't particularly like really aren't as bad as we thought. Maybe we're a little smarter than we used to be we have begun to understand why prickly pears are prickly. <laughs> and we make allowance for it. Other people appreciate the change and the way we react to them. And it makes them more friendly towards us. Taking this tack makes for smoother sailing. Life becomes friendlier and more enjoyable. You learn to forgive and forget. Those who don't learn this miss out on the warmth and friendships that they might enjoy. Friends, think of this comparison. One retired man made beautiful toys in his workshop and he sold them to a toy store. It was hard work. Now, a retired woman made beautiful dolls and she gave them away to poor children. It was a pleasure. Wow, what a contrast. The Gentleman Poet has a retirement poem for you today. Old age is golden, I've heard it said, but sometimes I wonder as I get into bed. With my ears in a drawer, my teeth in a cup, my eyes on the table until I wake up. Ere sleep dims my eyes, I say to myself, is there anything else I should lay on the shelf? <laughs> now I am old. My slippers are black. 
I walked to the store and puff my way back. Since I have retired from life's competition, I busy myself with complete repetition. I get up each morning and dust off my wits, pick up the paper and read the obits. If my name is missing, I know I'm not dead. So I eat a good breakfast and go back to bed. <laughs> my final thought. The test of a people is how they behave toward the old, like CNAs do. It's easy to love children. Even tyrants and dictators make a point of being fond of children. But the affection and care for the old, the incurable, the helpless, that is the true gold mines of a culture Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Oh, and by the way, the pups Bubba and Cora May wanted to say hi. <laughs> This is John Willard from the farm.